Okay, so the uh, Nintendo Wii came out last Friday in the UK, and through a mixture of poverty and resolve, I haven't yet got one, but I did manage to pick up one of these uh, Wii controllers as part of the Wii Play kit. So I have a controller uh, and a game for a console I don't own, which is really useful. So I decided to get it working on the PC. I've been spending this weekend doing that, and uh, finally completed my first version of the Wii Action input library for Wiimote input on PC. I'm going to launch a demo now that was created by some fellow students at the University of Teesside and myself a couple of weeks ago for the 72-hour game development competition. I've since adapted it using the Wii Action input library and uh, I'm going to use it to show it up. As you can see, getting the controller into the game is completely seamless. It just picks it up like anything else. You have to put the controller into discovery mode as the game launches for that sort. The first thing you have to do is calibrate it. Uh, really, you should supply a, a graphical interface for this, but I just use a ship to do the calibration. Now that's done, you can see. Currently, the reaction library supports tilting uh, in any of the axes that the, the controller supports. You can tilt left, right, and you can jump by tilting upwards quickly. You can use the A button to change polarity. You can speed up with B, and you can slow down with down on the D-pad. And you can crash into a wall. I'm just going to play through it quickly now and uh, demonstrate how the game plays with the remote. The X input library is a really simple library. When I first got this controller, I managed to get it working in, uh, in Magna Carta within half an hour of getting home. And I wanted that sort of ease for people who got Wii controllers and wanted to try it out uh, on, on their projects. I wanted it just to be really easy to plug in, especially if you've already used X input, because this API is very, very similar. Other people have already got access to the, to the Wii mode. Uh, there's a great project called GlovePie, which is really flexible and allows you to assign the buttons on the Wiimote to things like mouse buttons, keyboard buttons, and so forth. So you can use the Wiimote in any existing game. That's great. And if that's what you want to do, GlovePie is more appropriate for that. The idea behind this project is to allow you as a developer to decide how the gamer should use the Wiimote. And the main target for it is for you to develop demos or proofs of concept, um, prototypes, that sort of thing. If you want to develop a Wii game, you want to try it out natively on PC first, see how it is with the controller, and then later you can uh, work out a dev kit and start developing for Wii itself. With the uh, Wiimote support in Magna Carta, it feels a lot more next-gen, a lot more, a lot more immersive. I think we can do a lot more with it that we just couldn't do with keyboard and mouse. Going back to keyboard and mouse now, since I've added the Wiimote support, I've I've played it again with keyboard and mouse, and it just feels so unnatural. It feels like there's a barrier between me and the game that I'm playing. The New controller supplied by Nintendo really just breaks down that barrier. I feel so much more a part of, of what I'm playing.